Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is Thursday, my ABC Color Challenge Color Along video where I pick a page that has to do with the letter of the month. So the letter of, for April is R. Um, last week we did um, a picture out of the Disney ABC book um, by Hatchet Hero. We did the Russell page. And for this week, um, hopefully you guys saw it. I put it everywhere. Um, we are going to be coloring in Matchstick Mouse, an autumn coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. Um, we're going to be coloring a rain page. So here is the page with Little Miss Matchstick Mouse and her friend the spider. I pulled, I have off, off to the side, I have my Oh Hoo Hoo's. Um, and then I have two Jelly Roll Glaze. I'm going to use those on the raindrops. And I might do some on the flower petals. And then maybe some green. It's just I don't really have a good green in the glaze. It's a dark green, but it might work. Like on the leaves, like they're, they're wet. That's what I was thinking. We shall see. But so I have, I'm going to do purple flowers. So we have the blue for the raindrops, the green for the leaves, and the purple for the, um, the flower petals. So here we go. We are going to start with Little Miss Matchstick Mouse. I'm going to do her face, her belly, her hands, her feet, and her tail in the Y230, which is Deep Cream. Yes, I'm going to try to color so you can see. So how was everybody's Easter? Did everybody have a good Easter? Um, happy Easter, by the way. I am filming this early. The last videos you saw, I didn't say Happy Easter because I filmed, filmed them before Easter and I didn't think about it. Shame on me. Um, I did. It was, it was, it was nice. We... We went to church, which was a first really for me since uh, my mom passed. Um, got to see a lot of people, um, cried a lot, you know, how that goes. Um, and then we went to my husband's family's for lunch. And then we went to my mom's sister's um, for an early dinner and then home. So yeah, a lot of here, there, and everywhere. That's how my holidays are normally though. Did not grab a pink for the ears. I'm going to color the inside this color, and I will grab a pink to go over it, because I like to put it on her cheeks, too. Isn't she cute? So that was... See if it'll focus. Focus, focus. There we go. Y230. Still not focusing. Deep cream. And then the pink, I want to do just regular pink. I think that's what it's called. Yes, this RV260, which should be towards the top. Ha ha ha, here it is. RV260 is pink. So I'm going to do a little bit of pink right here in the ear, and then I like to on the cheek. So cute. And we're going to do his little nose. Her nose. It's a her. It's a her. It's a her. All right. So for the start of the fur, I'm going to do, um, it is brown gray Y11. So what did you guys have for Easter? Let's see, what did we have? 
we had um, at my in-laws house, we had El Pollo Loco, which is like a um, chicken place. Uh, we, they picked it up and brought it. Oh, this is running out. This is sad. I don't know if I have this in other sets. I need to look. This might be one of those newer colors in the 320 set. I hope not. Because this is like one of my favorite colors for her. I have like my color combo written down that I always use for her. Oh, sad day. I seem to use markers that run out a lot on, on camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't know why how that happens. So, yes. Oh, hoo hoo. If you watch my videos, I really need you to come out with uh, where you can buy them open stock. So the next is Mahogany Y12, and I'm just going to do some flicks for fur. Anyway, it was, um, it's like a chicken, a grilled chicken. Uh, yeah. I don't know what you, I mean, it's on the bone. It's not like a grilled chicken breast. Then they have rice and beans and tortillas and salad and then mac and cheese. It's yummy. It's good. I'm going to do the toenails this color. And then I'm going to do her hat. I always do her hat. These two colors. Um, light lavender and labella. V250 and V270. So, and then at my aunt's house, we had um, ham um, and she made all kinds of things. There was a lasagna, ham, there was two different um, sweet potato dishes or yams. Um, there was um, a fruit salad and, um, and a bean salad. And there was fresh strawberries. And uh, what else was there? Green beans. Let's see. I'm trying to think of everything. Um, deviled eggs. Oh, there was deviled eggs at both places. I do like my deviled eggs. Um, and they were good at both places. And then, I'm not a dessert person. Uh, really, I'd rather have a salty snack than a sweet snack. So, um, yeah. I'm going to do the flowers. I have um, Amethyst V060 and Pearl Violet V050. So, I'm going to go with the lighter color first. It's really not that light. Maybe when it dries, it'll be lighter. But she had cheesecake. They had cookies. Um, there was I don't, candy. And then my, my in-laws, she did have dessert too. She did vanilla ice cream with Olala berry jam. I didn't have any because I was saving room for more food at my aunt's house. All right, we're gonna it's spread into the centers of the flowers. I didn't get an orange. I didn't get an orange. I'm going to use this color. It's a darker orange. It is called Tiger Lily YR172. We're just going to dab it so it doesn't spread too far. Over the purple there. There. 
And then for the greens, I have, this is going to be a quick color, guys. Um, GY1, which is pale green, and G470, which is pine tree green. So I'm going to go over everything with the lighter green first, and then we'll go over it all with the darker green. Do some shadows and things. I'll probably do these triangles with the glaze pen. But yeah. That was my exciting Easter. Didn't dye eggs or anything like that. I don't I don't have kids, so it's just me and my husband. And we're not into the dying of the eggs. I mean, I liked it when I was little. It was fun. And I'm one of those weirdos that loves the smell of the, the vinegar and the dye. That was one of my, one of my weird foods that I liked was malt vinegar on French fries, which I hear is a very uh, common thing over in Europe. I've had a lot of people tell me that. Which would make sense because my dad thinks that I got that from my grandma. Um, I don't know if I said this before or for those of you who are new, um, my grandma is born um, and raised in Manchester, England. She's no longer with us, but she still had her accent till the day she died. I loved it. And my dad got to live there when he was little for a little while. She was a war bride. But yeah. I'm liking this green. So now we're gonna do this leaf stock thing. I'm liking the black background because I don't have to be as careful. It's kind of nice. But since this is a quick color, I'm going to show you how I clean it up and all of that. So yeah, dyeing eggs, yeah. I always like the smell of the dye with the vinegar in it. I know now you can get the dye where you don't have to add vinegar, but they don't dye the eggs as well. Not at all. Of course, now they have all kinds of different types of ones, so. And now I am assuming this is a leaf. So I was planning on coloring it green I'm gonna use the other side. When I have bigger areas, I like to use the chisel side. So I had more than one person um, I was asking in one of my last videos about color, what you guys would like to see in color alongs. And I had more than one person say they'd like to see me color in the Romantic Country books. I can do that. So I'm thinking I might start a series in the Romantic Country, the first book, because you can still get that one on Amazon. And um, I was gonna, um, somebody said to use different pencils in there. Well, um, I am doing a pencil test and my first video you shall see, um, um, Friday's video I'm doing with all the pencils that I own pencil test on the Amazon, the create space paper. And, um, I had a lot of fun doing it. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. And then, um, uh, my next one I'm going to do is um, the Lulu Mayo paper. 
I have a hard time with that paper. Um, but Romantic Country was on my list. Um, Joanna Basford, her paper of her books. I was going to do um, Rita Berman paper, which is to me is similar to Lula Mayo paper. Um, and the Disney books, of course, they have a smooth paper like the Rita Berman and um, Lula Mayo. So they may be similar, but I was shocked at some of the ones, how they performed on the um, Amazon paper. I had my favorites, which you will see, and I will let you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm kind of being sloppy. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't be too sloppy, huh? Like I, like it went over the line right there. That's all right. We will go back over it with the light one. Blend it in. Like so. Take this. Blend it in. I didn't do this sleep with the darker one. There's some spots here. This is this one. And right there. There. Blend it all together. I'm not going to do it. Well, I could. I'm not going to do it over here. Well, now I'm going to do this. Um, I could do Kirby Roseanne's paper. Um... Yeah, let me know if there's any types of papers you guys would like me to test. Now, I mostly have budget-friendly, budget sets of pencils. I don't have any of the, the only ones that are pricey that I have. This is um, E370 Light Walnut. Or um, Prismacolors and um, Polychromos. Um, and then I have the Derwent Color Soft. That's the only set I have there. This one's going to run out too. I have like certain browns that I like. And I know they don't have this one. I looked. In the other sets. So that's a bummer. I mean, I heard a rumor that Ohuhu was going to start doing refills or open stock, which I would love. But I don't know. It was a rumor, like I said. I think that needs to be green right there. Right here. Just there, and then I was thinking the spider needs to be sparkly. It needs to be a glittery spider, and I think he needs to be. Well, I wanted him to be purple, but I have this purple. Um, this is my Link glitter gel pen. Let's see how it works. Look at him. He matches her. Purple spider. 
It doesn't have to be realistic, right? It's a cutesy book. And then he needs to have um, black legs, but I don't want to blend in. No. I think it's in here. This is. So here's my black link. Let's see. That'll stand out. See his little black legs. Now we're going to do the raindrops. It's um, it's blue. So I'm gonna start over here because uh, the glaze, just so you know, takes a really long time to dry. But I love the way it looks. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, kind of. It's like a navy blue. with my glaze. Then the purple glaze. I've never used it, so we shall see. It's pretty purple. I was gonna do these triangles for sure. Which he always has triangles in his books. I'm not really sure if they're supposed to be berries but I kind of wanted to make the tips look like they're wet. Of the flowers. So, with the glaze. Right? And maybe like the, the edge of her hat. Like shoe. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of like it. But then I got the green to do some of the leaves like that. where I did the darker of the shadow. Do it with the glaze over it. They're wet. Everything's wet. All right, I'm gonna have to move this so because I, I'm not gonna be able to do it without getting my arm in it. Just do the tips. Moving the book. We're going to do this where it's the water's bouncing off. And then the tips. There. So 
So we've got some glaze going on. Got to give that time to dry. And then I'm going to use my Arteza White. It's a 1.0, my white gel pen. Um, we are going to give him um, a little white there. Some highlight here on the ear, on the tail. Let's do one on the hand. Then I've got some green over here, went over the lines, and this is how I get rid of it. I just go over it with my white pen and clean it up because these markers bleed. They bleed over the lines like crazy. So having a white gel pen is the best fixer for that. Here's some green. Right here, there's some white showing through. Me and my messy coloring. There. Thinking it, the leaf here needs some highlight. Like that. Like so. There. So fun. I don't have a brown in the glaze. It's like a, there's a dark orange and then there's this, I think it's red. So, oh, I have a clear. Clear, Megan, clear. We can do clear. It's working. So here's clear glaze. We're gonna do the clear on this little nose. And right here, he got a little bit wet right here. We're gonna do the tip of his ear, her ear, it's a her, you're a her. And on her tail. There. Just because I'm doing the center of the flowers. Just because. And these. Just because I can. I forget they call it the clear. There we go. There she is. She is all complete. Sweet little Miss Matchstick Mouse. I hope some of you joined me. If you did, um, when you post it on your Instagram or Facebook, make sure you use the tag, hashtag Meg's ABC Color Challenge 2023 so that I can see it. I would love to see all of your guys' finished pages. And it doesn't have to be this specific page. It could be any rain page. Any rain page. So, before I go, I did pick one for next week. Um, I'm going to set this aside because it needs to dry. So for next week, I thought we would do, this is Cute Spring Gnomes, my color caramel. Um, this um, is an untouched book. It's one of my newer books. Um, I thought we'd do a rainbow. So here is this cute little gnome on a swing with a rainbow. I thought that would be fun. So, so, so fun. Yes, this is one of those I color. I color them and then I put washi tape on the back um, and then I laminate them and I got that idea from Jamie, Jamie's Coloring Love. These are the Disney um, bookmarks. You can get bookmark books and obviously I didn't cut, cut this one very well. You probably can't see it so that's okay. <laughs> but yeah. So we're gonna color a rainbow for my letter R be fun and yes again that's cute spring gnomes by colored caramel so i hope you enjoyed this video um 
if you did, please give me a thumbs up. That really does help my channel. And comment down below um, on whether or not you're going to color this page or um, what you thought. Um, if I should have done something differently, what you would have done differently. Or just even a hello. I love getting comments. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to join us. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And again, the thumbs up. And I really, really, really appreciate it. I enjoy making these videos and talking to all of you. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Bye.